In this video series on how to set up an IP camera system over the network, this video is going to touch on if your network is not a standard network and you need to initialize and configure your cameras for the different network. In this example, we are using uh, Comcast. It's usually like Comcast Business or some Comcast home users have a 10.1.10 network. So that's what this video is going to focus on. If your network is another non-standard network, you will want to substitute the IP addresses for the IP address you found your network scheme to be. Uh, you would find that using the DHCP video above and then restart your NVR to find out that network scheme. But again, we are going to focus on the 10.1.10 IP address scheme, which will prove useful for Comcast customers. So first, I'm going to right click, go to main menu. I'm going to use the graphical user password to log into the admin account. Down at the bottom left hand side, I do have the camera setting. It should take you to the camera list automatically. If you're not there already, you're going to want to click on the camera list tab. And then in here, we can see that we have a camera that's uninitialized. I know it's uninitialized because of this red X status here. And then it has the default IP address from the factory, which is 192.168.1.108. Now I know this is not compatible with my current network because like I said earlier, I know I'm on a 10.1.10 .10 network. Now I can go right click and go to the network setting on my NVR to verify that my NVR is on that network. Again, if you set your D NVR to DHCP and see a different IP address scheme here, you will want to configure your cameras for that IP address scheme. And I will cover that when I go ahead and initialize this camera. But get, to get back to the camera setting, I can either click this camera icon up here at the top or right click and then go back into the camera setting from the main menu. And here I am back on the camera list settings page. Again, this camera is uninitialized, so let's say I wanted to initialize it. I would click the check box here. At the top right hand side, there will be an initialize button. And then it's going to ask me if I want to use the local password and email. I'm going to keep this checked. I want it to use the information from my NVR. It keeps it very simple and is in plug and play uh, when you go ahead and try to add the camera over your network. So again, I'm going to leave that checked and click the next button. Here is the very, very important part. If you feel comfortable leaving your cameras on automatic, you know what camera you're working with and then you can mark that IP address down. You can certainly use the DHCP button here. It will list what IP address your camera gets in the device list. But for the sake of simplicity and organization, I am going to manually set the IP address on my cameras. You could do multiple cameras at the same time. However, we do not recommend doing that as you can get confused or it can cause errors. So I'm going to go ahead and type out my IP address here. It's going to be a 10.1.10. And then the last number, you could essentially use any number between 1 and 254, as long as that IP address is not already used by another device on your network. For example, I know that my router is 10.1.10.1. And I know that my NVR is 10.1.10.80. And then for the sake of simplicity and to keep everything organized, I'm just going to start using my cameras or setting them up with 81 for camera 1, 82 for camera 2, 83 for camera 3, and so on. We can leave the subnet mask alone. Another detail that might get overlooked by most users is the default gateway. You do want to make sure you set this to your router's IP address if it is different from the standard IP address. So I'm going to change this to again 10.1.10.1. And that is my router's IP address for the default gateway. So again, I set this to a 10.1.10.81 for the camera. I left the subnet mask alone, and then I set the default gateway to the IP address that is my router's IP address. If you're unsure what that is, you can, again, check the DHCP settings that your NVR received from your router by going to the network settings of your NVR. But long story short, I'm going to go ahead and click the next button after I've configured those settings there. And after some seconds, we should see the NVR, go ahead and push that information to that camera and it will say device initialization OK. And then here we can see the results have an initialize succeed status and a modify IP succeed status. If you receive an error when you're doing these initialize and modify IP through this interface, 
It may be because you're doing more than one camera at a time, or the camera itself may already be initialized, in which case you would use the change IP button on this page here, and the modify IP button would allow you to do that. So I've gone ahead and initialized this camera. To confirm that it has been initialized, I'm gonna click the search device button here. It's gonna refresh my device search page at the top here. And now I have a green check mark status and I have the IP address that I set on my camera. If I wanted to go ahead and add my camera, I could check this checkbox here and then click the add button. After a few seconds, we'll see that red status turned to green and my camera has successfully connected. So I went ahead and searched the device. I looked for my camera. I checked to see if its status was red. I checked to see if it had the default IP address. I then clicked the initialize button. I used the security questions in email that in password that the NVR is using to push to the camera. I then set the 10.1.10.81 address. I made sure that my gateway matched my address um, and it was the IP address of my router. And then I went ahead and initialized the camera. And then finally, I clicked here and clicked the checkbox icon and then I clicked the add button to add the camera to my NVR. If you have third-party cameras that you are interested in using and you verified with us that they might work with your system, you can use the manual add button. Uh, you could also use the manual add button to add ex um, other cameras that you have from us that are configured on your network. And again, you would change this IP address to the unique IP address for the camera you want to add. So for example, I'm just gonna do a 10.1.10.90 as an example. Let's say I had a camera there and let's say it was an Onvive camera. I would come down to the manufacturer and I would come down and select Onvive. I would then use the admin username and the password from that camera and then click the connect button and click OK. I don't have a camera on my network that's a third party camera but that would allow you to add an already configured camera on your network or add an Onvive camera from your network. Hopefully this video gives you an overview of how to initialize and add IP cameras over a network. Thank you for watching.